Yeah, so if you're gonna push this strategy, you could do it on TikTok if you have a following already and you've already done that. But generally speaking, we have 10,000 artists at art storefronts and we're kind of advising them to kind of hold off on TikTok. Don't spread yourself all thin unless you really wanna do it or you're already there and you get it and all of that. Um, and the main reason is because with the 10,000 artists that we have, we only have like one or two artists that are actually producing any sales off of TikTok. It's not very many, but at least there's like, you know, a, a couple of sales there happening. We just don't think that the art buying is necessarily happening there yet, not even close to what's happening on Facebook and Instagram, which is like the epicenter. So, um, so generally when you're promoting that giveaway strategy, you wanna do email, all your socials. So if TikTok falls underneath your, all your socials, you might as well do it because you wanna basically amplify that uh, giveaway as much as, as possible. Uh, but otherwise, keep your focus on Facebook and Instagram because that's where that's where like all of the results are coming from. And until we see it and we are watching it very closely, we have the advantage of having all of this data and knowing where to focus. And so we're telling our members, um, you know, don't focus there uh, in, unless you're already there and you get it and you just want to do it. Otherwise, make those extra posts on Facebook and Instagram. Build your following there where we know the buyers are at least today.